Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been really busy, I just got me a new computer, and I just want to jump right into the video. So, what I'm going to do in this video is talk about the different types of technical interview questions. So, imagine that you're at an interview. You really don't know what to expect, but you do know that the interview usually has a certain type of structure to it. And the structure looks something like this. Introduction. The interviewer may ask you about your previous work experience. They may ask you about your soft skills. And obviously after that, there's going to be a technical question portion of the interview as well as a conclusion. So what we're going to be doing in this video is focusing primarily on the different types of technical questions. So when it comes to the types of technical questions, there are generally two types of questions. There are surface level questions and in-depth questions. So you may be asking yourself, what does this mean? What is surface level question and what is an in-depth question? I'm glad you asked. So. A surface level question is basically a question that is not greatly detailed. It's also a question that doesn't require a very detailed explanation. And as you can see here, I have a couple examples. One example would be, what is a thread? Another example, what is an instance versus a static method? Another example, what is a primary key versus a foreign key? Another one, what are all the auto wiring modes in Spring? So as you can see, when it comes to these questions, the answers to these questions are basically either you know one word responses or one sentence responses and don't really go too much in depth. They're simple, basic questions that the interviewer expects you to know just as common knowledge. So how do you go about preparing for surface level questions? Well, it's pretty simple. You basically just have to be knowledgeable of the core fundamentals of your programming language or your skill set. Um, as I said before, this is supposed to be common knowledge. Interviewers, they don't expect you to fail at these type of questions or not get these type of questions right. Now, for the second bullet point, you can see that another way of preparing for surface level questions would be to tailor your resume for what you know. I've seen people write things on their resume that they don't know about just to get their foot in the door just to try to get the job. But you need to make sure that you tailor your resume only for what you know. All right. Now, what I want to do next is talk about in-depth questions. An in-depth question is basically a question that is greatly detailed. Um, another thing is that it's a question that does require a very detailed explanation. So these type of questions are not going to be one-word response type questions or anything like that. You really have to know what you're doing in order to properly answer these type of questions. Another thing is that in-depth questions, they come in many forms. So. What are the forms of in-depth questions? All right, so one form would be a, just a, a deep technical question in which the interviewer simply just asks you a question verbally and basically you have to come up with the answer or the solution to a problem. All right, so one example would be how do you prevent SQL injection? give pseudocode and the steps you would take to prevent it. Another deep technical question would be, what are the advantages and disadvantages of microservices? Now, I've got questions like this before on interviews where they ask about the advantages and disadvantages. And this can be somewhat of a tricky question because usually when we think about a, a certain technology, we're only thinking about the advantages, but we never really compare it to other technologies, you know, and talk about the disadvantages or why we wouldn't, wouldn't use a certain type of technology. So that's another one to look out for. And another example would be, how would you go about writing quality code? As you can see here, this is not just a simple one word response that you would give. There will be multiple things that you would do in order to go about writing quality code. 
Okay, so another form of in-depth questions will be a whiteboard exercise. So when it comes to whiteboard exercises, as you can see here, it's not going to be a one-word response or a one-word answer. The interviewer is basically trying to figure out how deep your knowledge goes when it comes to understanding something. Another form would be a take-home assignment. These type of assignments are usually given before interview before the main interview like before phone interviews or even before the face-to-face -face interview and basically this is just to evaluate if you're able to properly understand the concept before even making it to the phone interview which may be a little bit difficult than this take-home assignment so um, these are just some examples of in-depth technical questions now, how do you go about preparing for in-depth questions? Well, when it comes to preparing, you have to be knowledgeable of the core fundamentals required for the job. This is how you prepare for it. Now, I know that there's some job descriptions of which you don't, you may not always know um, every bit of skill set, but there should be a certain, there, there should be um, certain technologies that you do have experience with. Okay, so you just have to be knowledgeable of the core fundamentals required for the job. Another thing is that you have to be 80% or fully grounded on all the skills you put on your resume. Now, what this means is that you can't just prepare for an in-depth question by just studying the basics of a technology. Okay? You have to know a great deal about the skill set about the skill set that you put on your resume so that you can prepare yourself for these types of questions. And just like um, surface level questions, you have to be honest on your resume. You know, I have to reiterate this again. You have to be honest on your resume. Don't put things on your resume just to get the job because you will be evaluated on it. All right. So if you have any questions about this, Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. And also, do not forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.